Welcome back. Since the start of the pandemic, eight and a half million Canadians who lost income due to the lockdown have received the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, or CERB. But that benefit is set to come to an end next month. The federal NDP wants the CERB to become permanent in the form of a guaranteed basic income. Mike Lecouture has more. That's what I've got for 700 is this is my this is my part of the house. So. Rebecca Guzzo is renting the upstairs of a home in Hamilton because it's all she can afford. She's still trying to get back on her feet after being homeless and having her kids in social care. And it was a vicious circle because the social work student just didn't have the necessities of life. If my basic needs were met during my most difficult struggles, I would have been able to continue through with college. I would have been able to continue through doing my social work. It's why she's so supportive of an NDP motion to convert the Kennedy Emergency Response Benefit into a guaranteed basic income for those who need it most. Many seniors uh, living in Canada do not have a livable income. I know many seniors in my riding choose between rent and medication. Gazan says the pandemic showed the resources are there to help Canadians. Now, in 2017, Ontario started a basic income pilot project in three cities, but it was cancelled when the progressive Conservatives swept into power. The federal minister of social development was unavailable for an interview, but in a statement, a spokesperson said, the design and implementation of provincial programs like basic income is up to the provinces themselves. Through our investments, we have reached the lowest level of poverty in Canadian history by lifting over 1 million Canadians out of poverty, adding the government will explore all options to help people join the middle class. We now have a deficit of a third of a trillion dollars. Management professor Ian Lee worries about the cost of a basic income program, especially since the NDP's plan would be on top of existing social services. The parliamentary budget officer estimates a guaranteed basic income could cost up to $96 billion for a six-month period. That's in addition to the hundreds of billions of dollars the government has already spent on emergency pandemic aid packages. I don't know of any serious person who is saying that the government of Canada can run up deficits of a half a trillion dollars indefinitely forever into the future. Lee thinks a good middle ground could be a revamped employment insurance program that could make sure fewer Canadians get left behind. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.